Successful afternoon, day, been at work, got a bunch of shit. Actually, this is what I got. I got some uh, Prep C kit. Uh, if you know what that is, then you know what is gonna happen to me. You know, in the last uh, few weeks, I constantly feel like I've got like a hair, like a, a stray hair that's gotten caught on my eyebrow dangling here. I know I've been talking to people and I've gotten it out of the way or whatever, and I don't... I've discovered that I have just one really long do you see this it's like a baby hair almost it's not bre it's not brunette has somebody been looking at me and thinking fuck that guy's got like one long hair hanging off his brow now that i see it, it looks fucking ridiculous here we go here we go ah oh, yeah about to go see? Richard Dreyfus. <laughs> Where are we? At Supernova. 2018. <laughs> oh. What a date. Wait, I don't want you to film me. <laughs> going pretty consistently for the last nine years. The only time I've missed it must be in the year that I was in Europe. You know, throughout the whole year, this has kind of been like a bit of a uh, tradition, um, not unlike Christmas, really. And it gives me the same sort of emotion. You know, I get, it, I get excited about it. Also, if you're watching this and you don't live in Sydney or you aren't aware, we're in Sydney Olympic Park and Sydney Olympic Park is definitely somewhere you should go. You should come here and hire a bike. You should come here and see a show. See the footy here. If there's anything I'm proud of Sydney about, aside from like the stereotypical landmarks, the bridge, Centerpoint Tower, Opera House, this shit is fucking underrated. <laughs> This is mum's first supernova, and this is my first photo at a supernova in nine years. Just in line now. What did Richard Dreyfus say to you, mum? He said that I'm manic depressive. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, he said another manic depressive. <laughs> but he made an effort with the hat. He looks, still looks like he's going fishing, but he's made an effort with the hat. Yeah, he dressed up. Yeah, it's not going to be much of a vlog today, um, this is a hospital, everybody's okay, but my grandmother, my only living grandparent, when we were at Supernova yesterday, she had a fall, and uh, she was on the floor for apparently five hours, while we were at Supernova and at dinner, she's fine, uh, which is good news, um, but obviously I'm not going to, I'm not going to give you fucking footage of hospitals. That's right, it is time for The Clash. The Clash is brought to you by Channel 9. Looking fine. It is Ryan Quinn. Hello. Hi. Hey. Once a journalist, <laughs> twice a journalist, three times a lady. We never heard about this last time on the show. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think it's been fun. It's been smashing. Yeah. Hmm. I think, uh, yeah. It's been a mess. Yeah, but that's fun. That that's... is fun. We're yes. not boring. That's right. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, let's get into Mike's work. Here's my train. Now I'm just going to head home. Work week starts tomorrow.
What did I do here? Day only ward. So I'm, you know, tomorrow is my day off. Uh, it's not a holiday. It is uh, the day where I, I can't, I, I have instructions on what to eat. Uh, I don't know if I've explained, but I have a, 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 I have a day surgery on Friday. It's surgery, but then they have to cut me open. So you do the math. What am I getting done? So, following these instructions will reduce the risk of liquid from your stomach going into your lungs during the surgery. Wow, that's fucking a scary sentence. Oh, fuck. It says I wasn't meant to eat nuts. I ate some nuts. And I had Metamucil. Shit. What day did I have Metamucil? Ah, uh, fuck. I knew I should have uh, read this last week. And there were nuts in the rice last night. Pasta. I had pasta. Ah, I'm a little nervous now. Like, I, I did eat nuts. Ah, shit. Why can't I run my own fucking life? Okay. No fruits contain seeds. But I had seeds. I've been having seeds all week. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. I feel so nervous. <sighs> All right. I wouldn't normally put this in the vlog, but between the last video and this video, I had a bit of anxiety about the dietary. It turns out I haven't really followed my dietary preparation and I'm hoping it doesn't matter. Uh, I can be a very organized person but with some things I just drop the ball and I know that I'm dropping it and I, I continue to leave it on the ground uh, going along with the same analogy. I just, uh, I just let it sit there and I'm like I should pick that ball up uh, and I don't know what the repercussions of me not picking the ball up. If I just pick it up, I'll, I'll know. I'll find out what those repercussions could have been and what I'm preventing and I, I don't. And in this case, by not properly preparing and not properly reading or rereading my instructions. And this is what the consequence of that is. Uh, and I've done this before. And um, I'm going to drop a link down below to an app that I use for breathing exercises. It always works for anxiety. It's a quick fix. Brood myself, uh, if I use that word. Chamomile tea. Smells really good. And I'm going to be honest. And if he has to reschedule and postpone the surgery, then so be it. I'm going to come out and look like an idiot. I should have followed some simple instructions. I haven't. These are the consequences. Uh, there's one. There's one other thing, and I wasn't even sure if I was going to mention this um, in the vlog. But Megan and I um, have parted ways. It's hard to say that when you're in a long distance relationship, but we are no longer really in contact. We've broken up. There are an array of things, um, reasons, a common thing. Uh, at the core of some of those problems is me not being able to, me this, this, what is going on right now is just the anxiety, the dread, and just the mismanagement of m m myself. And when you can't manage yourself, you can't manage a relationship, uh, and you definitely can't be in a long distance relationship. I'm sorry, like, I don't expect anybody to have gotten this far, but um, I guess I'll check back in tomorrow and we'll see if, if this surgery is going ahead and if I 